Hey Kate, um, I thought a video might help. So when it comes to companies, you can either check there or go under more in companies. And I've forgotten the name of the company that you were working with, TW Telecom, okay. <laughs> Once you have, here we are. Once you have um, access to a LinkedIn personal profile, like David's or Shay's or someone like that, um, who has a name at twtelecom.com email address, right up here you're going to see a little last edited by message. So, for instance, let me just go into my con company. Oops. Oh, for heaven's sake, really. <laughs> One of those days. There we go. So when I go into my business, you can see here the this page was last edited by whoever. So you'll be able to see that on theirs. You'll also be able to edit as soon as you get into um, a, a personal profile that has the domain name.com email address, this button will come up too. Now this is just for their company. This isn't a group. Groups are completely different. What you can do, however, is pull the information from their company to create a group. So the good news is just need to get into one of those guys' profile. Anyone who you can get into their personal profile so that you can edit that. That's how you do that. And there's no other way of doing that. So when they ask, you know, just tell them there's no other way of editing that unless you actually work for the company and have a company email address. To create a group, completely different. So you just go to My Groups. Let's just actually go ahead and open up another LinkedIn window. Hello. Go into groups, create a group, and as you can see, you can you don't have to have an email address necessarily associated with it. Just grab their, um, make sure you have a good, uh, relatively clear JPEG of their logo. Um, you know, permission to use their logo. You'll probably want to name the group. Um, well, you're going to want TW Telecom and then something like providing solutions for voice internet and or providing voice internet and data networking solutions. I would actually have all of that as part of the title just so you show up better in a search for those kinds of things within the groups. And then the summary section, this is 300 characters make them keyword rich right in this section here make them really keyword rich um, and also uh, kind of a call to action and maybe some benefits for joining this group and then the group description let's check this out uh, you get 2,000 characters I believe I would use this but then even a little bit more always whenever possible putting as many benefits as possible um, and keywords, as many keywords as possible in the description section. So that goes there. It's going to default to your email address um, if you're creating it, but you can put anything you want in there. So, you know, you can put one of their email addresses in there. Uh, find out from them if you want open access or not. Uh, open access means anyone on LinkedIn can join the group. Request to join means they have to request to join the group. Do leave these clicked on. Um, and then check the agreement. And that's essentially all you need to do to create the group. Now, to get people to join the group is going to take a little bit more effort, but at the very least, that should help you in creating the group on LinkedIn. So hopefully that clarifies things a bit for you. Okie doke, bye.